Below are three dimensions might exist fractons, subdimensional particles incapable of motion. These strange quasi-particles are locked in place by the forces of symmetry. In fact, they make an apt analogy to oppressed peoples. Only by joining forces with similarly immobile fractons can they finally move, together in solidarity. Let me explain. When I say symmetry, I mean this in a particular technical sense. It's a transformation of a system that leaves the behavior of that system unchanged. Furthermore, as a consequence of Noether's theorem, such symmetries give rise to conservation laws. An example of this is angular momentum conservation. Because rotating an object doesn't change the laws of physics that the object follows, we can deduce, using mathematics, that angular momentum is conserved. So, almost any time a quantity is conserved, there is an associated symmetry transformation that leaves the system unchanged. Now suppose for a moment that we had a system composed of charged particles, positives and negatives. If the governing physics of that system was such that the charged dipole moment has a conservation law, we would be talking about a fractonic system. Why? Well, if a single charged particle moves, then the dipole moment of the whole system changes, as the dipole moment is one of the measures of the relative position of charges. On the other hand, if two oppositely charged particles move in sync, then the overall dipole moment of the system remains intact. In that sense, each charged particle is a fracton, as its mobility is restricted by symmetry. For those that want the details, the symmetry operation in play here is that the phase of the wave function for the charged particles is allowed to change by a factor that depends linearly on the position of the particle. But interestingly, such systems haven't been constructed yet in a lab, but many groups are trying, so perhaps we'll see one soon.